I'm here to present to you on how video games develop real skill or real world skills such as communication, leadership, and strategic planning. But before we look into those three points, let's look into the what is a video game. A video game is a game plan, a game played by electronically manipulating images produced by a computer program on a television screen or other display screen. Video games are very much uh, popularized in our era, especially for young generations. But going into video games itself, and uh, one of the aspects of the video games is communication. Communication is the backbone of achieving goals through everything in life. So if I'm going to communicate with anyone in the class, we're going to say, or let me start that again. If I'm going to communicate, and we're going to communicate clearly, Give me one sec, sorry. I lost my train of thought. So if we're going to, uh, so communication is part of everyday life. If we're part of, if we're like doing a, a in-class project together, and if we don't communicate well, then we're not gonna be able to get those things. Social interaction is a big part of this, and as we see, gamers actually improve their social skills through communication themselves, and games based off of communication are Halo and Fortnite. And Throughout these groups, we develop leadership. We see in certain individuals come up and guide the group to what they need to go towards their common goal. They are also responsible for motivation and management and planning as well. It's no different than, let's say, a manager at Walmart. They have to have the they have all the same jobs as someone that, like a raid leader off of World of Warcraft would have. They have to make sure their whole their whole premise and their whole team is back behind the common goal. They can do what they need to do. And a lot of that comes in with the planning, like strategic planning and decision making. Decision making and strategic planning is very vital and part of video games and in real life. We do it every day when we get out of bed, we decide what clothes we want to wear, we decide, you know, uh, if we're going to go to class today, we make those decisions. And then part of that, through video games, we can see that our, what our consequences are, what our actions are leading up to this. Um, essentially, for example, like uh, if I'm going to get in my car really super hammered, I'm going to be in danger on the road. And this is in video games as well. If I go rush a guy with, you know, 10 health and he kills me, that was a bad decision on my part. So through video games, we can see where we are going, and we can also see about our future success as well, and how we are doing. And uh, going into a study from Matthew Barr in Glasgow in 2017, we can see he took a small sample size of 32 people. Between that, he cut them in half. He said, all right, 16 people are going to play video games, 16 are not going to play video games before administrating, before having people play video games, he had both groups take a test in adaptability, resourcefulness, and communications. However, for two months, not however, but for two months, these gamers would come together and play for at least 14 hours a week. And at the end of the trial, their, their, their scores went up greatly. For resourcefulness, 81% of the gamers Get scores went up, and for the other ones like adaptability and communication, only like a, a lot of percentage went up as well by 75 and 95 percent. So we see that video games are actually allowing people to develop skills, whereas a control group took the test again and their results hardly changed at all. So, in conclusion to all that, we can see that video games do develop real life skills. Communication is the backbone and it does lead to social interaction, which leads to improved social interaction. And we can see that leadership is to develop and maintain our goals. Um, um, if someone's a leader, then they have to step up and say, hey, this is how it's doing and this is how we're doing. And if we're going with strategic planning, then it'll just help you succeed in the future with all things in general. Thank you.